On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm going to let you know if the Kasori Dual Blaze is worth the extra $50 over the other Kasori. When I saw that they came out with a new Kasori, because this here, if you haven't already watched a video, I have really enjoyed this. This brand in general, my mom's got one, my daughter-in-law has one since that video, and they absolutely love theirs. When I saw that they came out with the, the Dual Blaze, I thought, I gotta buy that and try it and see if it's any better than this one for $50 difference. All to be fair, this is a 5.8 quart and this is a 6.8 quart. So they are different sizes. But personally, after using them the last few weeks, I haven't cooked anything in this that I couldn't cook in this. So this is the Kasori Dual and this is the other Kasori. And if you look at them visually, they look pretty close to the same. To me, this one's a little bit bigger, but nothing much. Supposedly, this one, because it has dual elements, you're not supposed to have to flip or shake or turn over, but I have been doing that, even though it says that you don't have to. But personally, I guess because I've had this one and I'm so used to shaking and flipping stuff, I still did it in it. I did try to cook some stuff without flipping it, and I just like that crispiness that it gives from the top element. It did cook the bottom. It didn't give that crispy feel that you get from it having that top element. So as far as having to flip it over, I still am having to shake or turn the items that are in it. I haven't seen, other than maybe it cooks a little faster, any advantage to having the dual elements. The new Dual Blaze does not have a preheat, where this Kasori does have a preheat. And there's just a lot of times that I use the preheat. It just, I think it's because, again, I've had this one, I've been used to the preheat, so I don't see that being a problem and not having the preheat, other than the fact that sometimes I might not have washed out my basket and then I go and stick it in there and it's wet and I turn the preheat on to dry the basket out. <laughs> That's a lot of times what I use my preheat for. Now sound wise, the new Kasori Dual Blaze, it is super quiet. Like you can hear it, but you really have to put your ear down to see if it is really running. Not that the original was loud by no means, but the new Blaze is a lot quieter. I would say half as quiet. You can hardly hear it running unless you put your ear down. So as far as noise wise, the Kasori Duel is way quieter than the old Kasori. But the door is harder to close on the Dual Blaze. And I don't know why, and I still haven't figured out the deal, you can see where it was scratching every time I would go to put it in. And now it's working fine and I haven't had, no, okay, there it goes, it caught. It, it'll catch sometimes and it's hard to go in. Where with this one, I've never had a problem with it closing ever. It closes and opens fine. This one, like you saw it just then, sometimes it catches and then goes on in. Why? Why does it do this? Somebody, please, please help me. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, because I swear it does this all the time. I messed with it and messed with it, and I can't figure out why or what's catching it, but it just does. There, it just caught right there. And now it's 
That was back in. And you know, y'all are gonna think that I am trying to talk y'all out of this Kosori because I feel like I have way more pluses about this one than I do this one. But I do want to be honest with you. I don't want to tell you, go spend $179 on this one when you can buy this one $129 and it's just as good. I will have a few things that I like a lot better about this one than this one, I promise. Another thing, I know it's because I have old eyes. I can read this display so much better and quicker than this display. This display is hard to read. I don't know if it's because of the angle that it's at, the way the words are. I sometimes, I've learned now what's where, but in the beginning, I would have to put my glasses on so I could see what button I was pushing to make sure that I had the right settings. Now, I was really worried that this one was gonna be a lot hotter to the touch when it was running because it does have the dual elements, but it does not get hot at all. It gets a little warm, but I cooked with it for 20 minutes one day and I went and put my hands straight on it and it was just warm. It never got to the point where I'm like, oh, this is gonna burn me. So I think that it's great for the fact that it does not get hot. This one is the same way though. This one doesn't get hot. Now I have to say this one gets hotter than this one on the top. And I think it's because of the way it's vented. This one has like a vent that goes around here. And then this one has the vent out the back. But as far as the outside of them being hot, I didn't think that either one of them gets hot at all. This one has Wi-Fi and it has an app that you can run it with. If you use Alexa, you can turn this one on with Alexa. You can adjust the temperature with Alexa. I don't have an Alexa but I did download the app. And when the air fryer is done, I like that it messages me and lets me know that my meal was done or it was turned off. That was something I really liked about the app because sometimes I get like sidetracked be like walking around or going to do something and then not realize that it's been ready and I've just been ignoring it. Another cool thing about this one is with the app, Let's just say that you have like a pot pie and I'm just using that for an example because that's what I, I grabbed to scan. I did like the app that if you scan something, it would tell you what temperature and how long to cook it at. So I thought that was like a great feature of this one. This one has a removable plate that you take in and out where this one has a removable basket. And after cooking with it for a few weeks, I love the basket a lot more than I do the plate in the bottom. This here, the holes and stuff are a lot smaller and you don't lose any food through it where this one has the holes for your, to put your fingers and they're kind of big and I lose food that goes in there. And it's hard to get out because one, it's greasy or sticky, but it gets hot and you can't pull it out when you've got your food in there. So I have lost a little bit of food that goes down in those holes, but this is supposed to be a crispin rack. And I don't think that you have to use it if you don't want to, but again, I'm so used to using this one that has that separation. And I think you almost always would want to use this, especially if you're cooking chicken, it keeps all the grease away. And I think that's the whole purpose of cooking with an air fryer is to have stuff less greasy. They both clean up great. I love these. I am a dishwasher queen. I love my dishwasher. I use my dishwasher all the time. These both have great non-stick baskets and I never ever put them in the dishwasher even though they are dishwasher safe but nothing is ever caked on enough that it matters and if it is something that's a little more caked on I just use my Dawn power wash and within a couple of minutes it completely comes off no problem. The cleanup is an ease with both of these. 
And after using these for a few weeks, if I was going to buy one again, I would just buy the smaller one and the older one. I just don't see the things that I like better about this one being a $50 value. This one is actually a little bit bigger, taller wise than this one. I like the interface of this one. There's just so many things that I like about the original Kasori. And like I said, I can't think of anything that I have ever tried to cook in this one that I think, oh, I wish I had one more quart. Because I know this one's bigger, but I haven't, I've even cooked a small hen in this and it was no problem. If you're looking to get a new air fryer, I hope this video has helped. Or if you were thinking about getting a new dual blaze, I hope this kind of gives you some insight because I'm going to give you my real opinion. This original Kasori is superior to the new dual blaze. But I'm keeping the dual blaze because I need two air fryers. And we took my old air fryer, my Ninja that's really small, and put it in our RV so that we will have it to camp in. Till next time, like and subscribe.